on YouTube, my family and my friends, Excellent Dreams here today, back with another exclusive video for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, here at Excellent Dreams, Rhinestone Apparel, I teach you how to create Rhinestone Apparel, such as the shirt that I have on today. So, um, I had a customer jump in my inbox, and they were like, can you do this design for me? So I asked them to send me the design over. And let me actually drag the design in because that's what the design looks like after I vectorized it and things of that nature. But here's the design right here. Let me make it bigger so that y'all can see. First things first. When receiving a rhinestone design or design that you're going to um, create rhinestones with, first things first, it has to be. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it's best if it is a vector graphic image. This here is a pixelated image. So the woman pretty much sent me a JPEG photo that she wants me to turn to a rhinestone template. Now, I'm pretty good at this rhinestone template stuff. So, I told her that, yes, I can do it. The cost is going to be $50. But, here's what happens. When I vectorize it, boom. Ungroup all of this. Boom. Let's take out all of this black here. Boom. Right? So, that's pretty much what we're left with. Then, of course, as you can see, it's real, real jagged because she sent me a JPEG image and not a scalable vector graphic. So all of this stuff got chopped up. People wonder why it's, it costs. What it costs is because I have to now go in here and fix your image. If you would have sent me the correct image, then, you know, I wouldn't have had to do all of this fixing your image in order to make it work so there's a reason why it's fifty dollars and not ten or fifteen dollars because it's actual work that we have to go through let me get all of them so as y'all can see i pretty much did a lot of work and i fixed it to get it to look like the blue one all right still need more work to go but hey let me delete this one i just wanted to show y'all where it started, where it came from, and where I'm at now. Let's delete this one. I've already welded all this blue together. We're going to nudge that over. Let me weld all of this together. You can't even read the words, so I have to redo the words. See? It's supposed to be T collection. You know what I mean? T-I-O-N. And then right here, it's the Brooklyn. So let me weld all this together. Now, she wants me to create a rhinestone template using the design she sent me. And here's what's going to happen. When I click on this, and I told her it's going to have to be SS6 stones. But when I click on it and do a place and field, island field, most of those stones are not going to fit in that blue. As you can see here. So, in order to do this design, I have to literally do it by hand, meaning... Place a stone here, place a stone here, place a stone here, and I have to do the entire design like this, y'all. So people, people, sometimes when I give people my price of $50 or $55 or $65 or $75 and they don't respond, I be thinking like, how rude of them, like, you know what I mean? And then I be also thinking like, who else online is going to do this work for less than what is deemed to be done, you know? Then you got a lot of newbies in the game, you know, who just getting started. They may have lost their job. They're trying to make some money. They're trying to figure out this rhinestone stuff. And they're the ones out there charging people $15 and $20 to do this work, which is going to take at least an hour, you know what I mean? If I wanted to work for $15 an hour, I would just go out there and get a job and work for $15 an hour. Like, I'm, I'm not going to downplay my services 
like just because the customer is not willing to pay that price. I'm going to move right on to the next customer. But as I can see, there's newbies in the game who will take that price and be like, yeah, I'm going to do it for them. They won't last long because after long, they're going to go up on their prices or they're just going to give up. because They can realize that they're doing something wrong. And see right here, even no matter what I do, no matter what I do here, how can I make this E look like an E? So when doing rhinestone designs, you have to keep that into consideration. Using a thin font such as the one that this lady chose here. You won't be able to see and even tell that that's an E. Look at this. But if you're, if you're new to rhinestone designs, this is something you may not know. You may think that every design can just be done in rhinestones when it cannot. Like, I'm going to try to work this for this lady. Even though I haven't taken a deposit, I haven't taken any money from her. I just want to show her that um, when it comes to rhinestone designs, the font that you're using has to be thick enough for you to be able to use these circles in whatever size that you want to use them in. And it's got to be able to be visible. It's got to be able to be legible. If not, like... It's going to say E-L-L, -L, and this is going to look like an I. Because there's no way to get those stones. I mean, we could do it like this. But still, to me, that's not going to look like an E. There's no way to get it to look like an E because it's too small. It doesn't even look like an E now. Like, you know what I mean? <sighs> but that's one of the reasons why... I have to create videos like this because there's newbies out there that would think, oh, I want my design down in rhinestones, like, you know what I mean? And when somebody tell them that it can't be done, then they'll think that that person is trying to be funny when they don't even know that in order for a rhinestone, that looks crazy. I mean, yeah, it looks crazy. I don't know why this woman even thought but that's that's what you get with a lot of newbies you know they'll see the rhinestone designs online they're like oh i think it'd be cute if my if my logo is done in stones not even realizing that the logo can't be done in stones because it's too tiny too thin too small but once again i'm excellent dreams the rhinestone king and i'll make it work I will make it work, and if the customer is happy with it not being as legible as it could be, then I'm okay with that. You know, as long as the customer is happy, you know, then that's what it's about at the end of the day. I had to learn that. I had to learn that. Someone, a lot of people are not going to see your vision. They're not going to see your your art, artistry, and you know, and they want to be artists themselves, and they want to come up with their own mess. Let them do that. Here we go. But like I say, I'm only doing this to show y'all that, yeah, instance, there's instances where it could be done, but it's going to look crazy. I don't even know how this will actually turn out, y'all. But I wanted to do it. I wanted to do a video on it. I wanted to show people and let people know when it comes to rhinestones, it has to be a, a, a vector graphic. It doesn't have to be, but it's easier for the artist who's creating the rhinestone art, if it is a vector graphic. That way, he doesn't have to do much work to get the JPEG image or the PNG image uh, to look how he wants it to look before he can start applying the rhinestones. This is Raymond Jones. I hope this video helped you guys out today because it can be really, really frustrating when you're dealing with people who do not know who do not understand the file format, who do not know that rhinestones have to be, the design has to be a certain size in order for the rhinestones to fit. There's a lot of different variables, y'all, to making this rhinestone stuff work. I'm going to make it work. I think it's going to look good as long as she can um, settle with the fact that it's not going to be legible, but overall it is going to be her logo 
in rhinestones, as legible as I can get it. That has been the video for today. Please smash that like button if this video helped you out to understand rhinestones. And I'm out.